Good morning, this is Duane, and we've been doing a series called Good Stuff You Really Ought to Know About Music. And one thing you absolutely need to know about music is the concept of keys. What does it mean to play in the key of F, or if a song's written in the key of E flat, what does that mean? Uh, some people go through life and they play the piano or sing in the choir or something, and they still ask, how do I know what key this is in? I just had a guy ask me the other day, uh, this has two flats, what, what key is that? Well, this is so easily solved that in the next seven minutes, I estimate seven minutes, you're going to learn all the flat keys, and then tomorrow we'll take up all the sharp keys. Uh, first of all, what does it mean to play in the key of C? It means the song is based on the scale of C. It's not that they couldn't use any other notes, but if they, do, if they use any other notes, they have to say so by way of an accidental. Okay? So it's based on the scale of C. What does it mean to play in the key of F? It means it's based on the scale of F. What does it mean to play in the key of B flat? It means it's based on the scale of B flat. So if I play in the key of B flat, I've got those three flats to deal with, don't I? Okay? Or two flats in the key of B flat, sorry. If I play in the key of E flat, I have three flats. Okay, so let's learn the order of the flats and then what key it's in. Uh, all the keys are in, okay? The key signatures. The order of the flats is real simple to remember because you just say the word bead, B-E-A-D. Those are the first four flats, B flat. If there's one flat, it's always B flat. If there's two flats, it's always B flat and E flat. If there's three flats in the key signature, it's always B flat, E flat, and A flat. And if there's four flats in the key signature, it's always B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat, okay? Now, if there's, uh, five flats in the key signature. It's always B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Now usually you won't go past that, but if you do, if there's six flats, they're always B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. And if there's seven flats, which there very seldom are, but if you should encounter that, they're B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. I know it looks like B and, and E, but it's really C flat and F flat. E wise, okay? So if you have one flat, what is it? It's always B flat. So if you see one flat in the key signature of a song, it's B flat in the key signature. If you have two flats, B E. If you have three, B E A. If you have four, B E A D. That'll probably do you for the most part if you just remember the word bead. But if you want to also remember the last uh, three flats, say something like go catch fish. So the order is B, E, A, D, go, catch, fish. B, E, A, D, G, C, F. Okay? Now, if, if you have no sharps or flats, you're in the key of C because you're based on that scale of C. If you have one flat, you're in the key of F. Just memorize that. If you see a B flat in the key signature, uh, you're in the key of F because it's based on that scale of F. After that, it's real easy to remember because if you see two flats in the key signature, they're always what? B flat and E flat. And the second to the last flat is the key. Well, E flat's the last flat. What's the second to the last flat? B flat. So you're in the key of B flat if you got two flats, B flat and E flat. If you have three flats in the key signature, B flat, E flat, and A flat, what key are you in? The second to the last flat, which is E flat. If you have four flats, if you see four flats in the key signature, B, E, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat, what key are you in? You're in the key of A flat. If you f see five flats in the key signature, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat, what key are you in? That's right, you're in the key of D flat. And that's because it's based on the scale of D flat, which has those five flats, right? So I can play, I can play. I can play in the key of D flat based on those five flats, okay? So remember that, B, E, A, D. Go catch fish. That's the order of the flats. That's one thing you have to memorize, B-E-A-D-G-C-F. And then the second thing you have to memorize is to find the key of a song, take the second to the last flat, and that is the key. The second to the last flat is the key. Now, I don't know if we've used up seven minutes or not, but you have learned the order of the flats and how to find the key of a song in seven minutes or less. So thanks for being with me, and we'll see you tomorrow with sharp keys. Bye-bye. Thanks for now.